Hey guys, welcome to the BS Review. Today we are doing something very special. We are celebrating 100 subs. Woo! And we are super happy about it. We are very thankful for you guys. 100 subs is crazy to us. Yeah, especially because we've only been doing YouTube for a little over two months. We weren't expecting that. We're happy about it and we're glad to have all of you guys along for the ride. So to celebrate 100 subscriptions, we wanted to do a little bit of a Q&A video with you guys. So over the past week, we've been asking you guys to send us questions on all of our social media, which if you don't already follow us, we'll have all of our links down below. You can go check those out. And uh, we're here to answer some of you guys' questions. So our first question is from my buddy Tristan from back in like high school slash college summer working. Uh, and his question is, are you excited about the Young Justice cartoon coming back? And that's not something I'm familiar with, so I'm going to let you answer that question. I would say kind of. Why? Um, I liked both seasons of Young Justice, but I think a lot of people really loved that cartoon, but that one never stood out to me as much. I enjoyed it, but I'm not quite as hyped as other people. I hope with it coming back, it is just as good, if not better, than the first two seasons, because uh, the first two seasons were solid, and it got canceled, and so it's now being brought back on a different network. So I'm hesitant to see how it goes. Hopefully it's good. Our next question is from Fraser Jubb on Twitter, and he asks, what are some of your favorite movies of all time? That's a big question. That is a big question. I'll go ahead and say that my favorite movie of all time is The Last Samurai, and I, with Tom Cruise, directed by Edward Zwick, and I just really love that movie. I think a lot of my favorite movies have to do with a lot of, like, childhood nostalgia, or just like the formative years of my loving movies. So like stuff like, um, I know I've mentioned Fifth Element on this channel before, that's a big one. Treasure Planet is one of my favorites and also uh, Atlantis, the animated original is one of my faves. Lots of Disney movies. <laughs> yeah, I also like really quotable shows. Uh, my family was a very much like movie quoting family, which Steven has still not gotten used to <laughs> after almost 10 years together. Brittany is a quoting machine and I can never keep up. She like quotes at least 10 different movies or things a day. I'm always like, what's that from? Yeah, so like Mean Girls, the classic one. I do like that movie, but I don't know if I would call it one of my favorites. It's just very quotable. But yeah, I have a ton of different favorite movies. I'm sure I will mention a plethora of them on this channel as we go, but those are the, those are the ones that are kind of coming to mind right now. Frazier also asked us another question, which we actually got from several people, and it is, what inspired you to start doing YouTube videos? So we both have full-time jobs outside of YouTube, and um, we kind of don't love them at the moment. <laughs> So we wanted a hobby that we could do together and enjoy and do on our spare time and that would kind of feed our creative sides and be able to just 100% control something and where it goes. Yeah, we really just needed a project and we wanted a project and we're like, well, what do we do? And YouTube was something that had kind of bounced around in both of our heads separately. And then we started talking about it and then we realized we had this plan for this channel and we started to get excited about it and I think we spent like a little bit planning and we planned to have like a whole month before we started putting up videos and we ended up doing it like two weeks sooner because we just liked it so much. Yeah, and uh, I actually tried to talk Steven into doing something like this about a year ago, except we, I tried to do like a blog form of this and he was not going for that back then, which I understand. But uh, what was that? I think it was like three or four months ago now. I was like, hey, what do you think about doing YouTube? And he's like, I do that. I was like, are you serious? Because we're going to start doing it if you say yes. Which I like this format way better. Yeah, I agree. Which a funny story that right when we did start YouTube, our very first video we full length recorded, oh. um, our camera actually dumped all the footage. We went to go see Guardians of the Galaxy 2 and we recorded our first video. We're all excited and all of the video got dropped and corrupted. So. Yeah, it's been a learning <laughs> process, but we like it. So that's why we started YouTube. Our next question comes from The Real Talk, and they ask, what advice can you give for up-and-coming YouTubers? We are <laughs> up-and-coming YouTubers, so I don't know how much solid advice we can give people. I mean, we can let you know what we've experienced so far, but I don't know how helpful it will be because we're still in, like, super baby stages of this. Yeah, I feel like we're just beginning, so we are up-and-coming YouTubers, but I feel like one of the biggest things is that 
just consistency with trying to make videos and put them out because we've had kind of an inconsistent like upload schedule. Yeah, but we put out a pretty consistent two to three videos every week. So we don't have like certain days we upload. We have ones that we do on our end where we want to put it up those <laughs> days, but we haven't set a legit schedule on this channel because we end up not doing that. But we're still putting them out a lot frequently during the week. So I really just say produce content. Yeah. If you're putting content out there, people will come watch it is what we've kind of learned. I think another thing I would advise is obviously just stay true to yourself. I know everybody says that, but like genuinely don't do content that you don't care about or that you're only doing because it's popular because I think it comes across, especially on camera. Um, and it's just being genuine is important. And I, I always connect with YouTubers a lot better when they just seem really honest and open and just ecstatic about what they're talking about instead of like, I'm going to redo this thing because it's popular and I need to. Yeah, and I would say especially for our channel, if you go look at our videos, it fluctuates crazy. So we have like videos with like 4,000 views and then videos with like 10 views. But we love doing the ones that have 10 views because they're what we like. Yeah, and so we really make sure that we don't compromise those videos just to produce those ones that hit bigger because we want people to watch all of those. I would also say in regards to trying to get people to come to your channel, there are ways to do it and ways not to do it. <laughs> we end up having people who will come comment on our videos or even respond to some social media posts and just be like, hey, come follow me, or hey, check out my channel, or hey, do this, and it's all just focused on them wanting you to come follow them. I don't know you from Adam <laughs> or Eve, and I know nothing about your content, and obviously you just came here to just pimp out your shit. And like, I don't have a problem when people do that if they're actually interacting with us mm -hmm. about what we've already done. So we've seen quite a few people who will comment on a video of ours and be like, hey, I really liked what you said about this video here. Or like, they'll comment on what we're doing first and then be like, hey, I actually have similar videos on my channel if you're interested in checking them out. They don't demand us to come check them out. And they actually engage and let us know that they actually watched what we put out instead of just like, I'm gonna spam all the comments. It just, the intentionality matters to me personally. We actually had one person try and hold their subscription hostage where they were like, <laughs> they commented and they're like, Hey, I liked your video and I'll subscribe as long as you share my channel on your social media. And then and I will also sh share yours. Yeah, like, if you message me that you shared, I will subscribe and share your channel I'm too. Just like, dude, just like, oh my god. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, but there are people who who we have instantly subscribed to because they left a really meaningful, genuine comment and then just reference the fact that they also do similar things or that even just saying like, "Hey, I love your video because of XYZ." I'm a new subscriber. I will mo like 100% of the time go check out your channel after that. I think one of the most important things is to really like plug into the community and try and build everyone up. So the goal is we all want to become bigger channels. We want more viewership and for our videos to do better and for more people to see them. And so that takes being interested in other people's and trying to pull everyone up together. I think one of my favorite things about getting into this community uh, since we've done it is just the people we've met on here and the other youtubers or bloggers or people who just do Twitter uh, We've made a lot of good like internet friends from it And we are constantly like commenting on each other's videos or sharing each other's things and congratulating them when they Reach milestones and it's been a lot of fun. I actually really like it. Yeah All right, so our buddies over at rewind replay actually asked us a couple of like fantasy recasting questions so the first one is if Batman gets recast, who do you want to pick up the cowl? So I'm going to let you answer that one. Well, we know that he's not getting recast for a while since Ben Affleck just signed on to a contract. And unlike a lot of people, I actually really like Batfleck. I think he I, I think he does a really good job as Batman. I think he can work on his Bruce Wayne. Yeah, I think that's my biggest issue with it is he just does not pull off Bruce Wayne well at all in my opinion. But he plays Batman really well. So so I like him, so it's hard to think of a recast, uh, as I was just thinking about who I would just put in that role. Um, I think an interesting one would be Tom Hardy. I, that's what I was thinking too. I mean, I know he was already in the Batman universe, but... Just because I know that he does really well in action roles, and I think he always brings a presence on screen, a very physical one. He also can do Charming and Surly, so, and you need both of those for Batman slash Bruce. 
Yeah, so he has done roles where he's a little bit more fun. Mm -hmm. And with a with an American accent, I think he could do it. And the second recasting question from Rewind Replay is, they asked us, if it wasn't Jody who was cast as the female Doctor, which female would you cast for who? So I actually have a couple options for this. Uh, typically, Doctor Who castings, since the reboot started, have been more unknown actors that aren't very popular, I guess, at least in widespread media. But uh, my picks are kind of actresses that are pretty well known. <laughs> uh, I think one of my top ones would be Emma Thompson. I absolutely love her. I think she could pull it off beautifully. Uh, Helena Bonham Carter is another one, which I know her name mm. always gets thrown out when Doctor Who is getting recast, so it's a popular choice. However, I know a lot of people also don't like that. Um, I don't like that. <laughs> no, I think she'd be great. but uh, Or maybe she'd be a better like female master. I don't know. Maybe that one. Uh, I also think Helen Mirren would be great. See, that would be my pick. I think I'd pick Emma Thompson over Helen Mirren. Maybe. Well, maybe not. It's just, she's just the first one who pops in my head, and she's been doing a lot more fun movies lately, That's which true. I think she could With bring like that red. fun to the role, yeah. Yeah, so those are my picks, just off the top of my head, for a recasting of Female Doctor. However, I think Jodie is a great choice, and I'm very excited. To yeah, I think Jodie's going to do great. Watch about it. <laughs> Check we'll it out, it. yeah. <laughs> Alright, so Rachel asked, what's your favorite Disney movie? My favorite Disney movie comes from my childhood, which is Robin Hood. I've probably seen that thing a hundred times. I like Robin Hood. <laughs> I think the vultures are my favorite. But other than that, like, it's all right. I mean, I don't know why. Now, as an adult, I might say that there's other ones I like a little bit more as a movie. But that one just holds a place in my heart. It has to take the crown. What's a more modern one that you really like? Like one that's come out in the last, like, five years. Last five years? Yeah. It's not... I'm not sure if it's five years or not, but I would probably say Finding Nemo. No, that one's like ten years. It still counts. It's more recent. <laughs> five years, no, that's I'll like two you. Pixar movies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I would say my favorite is Lion King, just because it's like my childhood Disney movie. Uh, I think Toy Story is also one that's pretty high up there. Um, modern one? Yeah, What what's a modern one? Yo, I love Moana. It's so good. That's true. Moana was great. Since it's been on Netflix, I've watched it so many times. <laughs> we literally were cleaning the apartment one day, and we always put on some sort of album or whatever on Spotify while we're cleaning. I was like, can I just play the Moana soundtrack the whole time we clean? And so we did. And Ryan R. asked us, are you two a couple? Yes. Yes, we are married. <laughs> uh, we actually started dating when we were 16, and we've now been together for almost 10 years, and we've been married for about two and a half years. And we both love nerdy things. Yep. <laughs> Rewind Replay also sent us another couple questions, and it is, what is your bold goal for your channel, and will it always be a side thing, or do you seek to make it a business of sorts? Now, we have a lot of dreams for this hobby of ours. We do. <laughs> um, I think, like any smaller YouTuber that is putting out a lot of videos, we would love if this thing got big enough that we could actually turn it into some sort of business for ourselves. Now, if it never does, it's still something we really enjoy doing. It's not going to be a, like, do it full time or bust kind of thing. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, we started it because we wanted something fun to do, and the more we're getting into it, the more we really enjoy it. And I think that eventually if we were able to, you know, support ourselves off of something like this, we would absolutely love that, and obviously our content would expand tremendously because of that right now uh we're doing about as much as we can for both of us having full-time jobs and still wanting to see friends and not have our house being a mess and everything else yeah between having a normal life we're still trying to plug anywhere between 20 to 40 40 hours into youtube a week which is a lot and we really enjoy it and what's been happening is then when we're spending the time doing the other stuff like working our jobs we're just being like man i would much rather be at home recording a video right now so we'll see what happens yeah, so it's it's one of those things where we don't do what we do for views, strictly. Like, definitely not. It's nice, but that's not why we do what we do. However, if that support was great enough, we would love that. Yeah, and I think also, as far as bold goals go, I think we just really want to build a community for us. Because, like, we have been interacting with people, and I think that's starting to happen. Mm -hmm. But because we're smaller, obviously, as you get bigger, that 
community forms more and more and I think that's kind of been one of our goals. And I think we would also love for us to both have our own separate YouTube projects as well along with this combined one. Yeah, I know we want to diversify kind of the videos we put out. We want to keep the same type of content on this channel, but we like more stuff than just movies and TV shows, as we've kind of shown you guys in a couple of videos here and there. I know Brittany really loves books and makeup, and I really like video games, so I'd like to do something more along those lines. Yeah, I mean, he's always wanted to do some sort of streaming kind of thing, maybe eventually, and I have actually have been running a blog for about a year and a half focused on, like, books and beauty and makeup things, so somewhat girly, somewhat gender neutral. Yeah, so we'll see what happens with that. Alright, so that's all of the questions we have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this Q&A and getting to know us a little bit better. If you're new to our channel and this is one of the first or the first video you've ever seen and you're interested in checking out more, please subscribe. You can click the subscribe button down below or we'll have it on our end screen as well. And we would love for you to join our little BS review family. We have a lot of other types of videos, including, you know, reviews and trailer reactions and TV show discussions, you know, lots of different stuff. And we plan on bringing a lot more as we go along with different subjects and more of the same that we already have. So if you want to check out any of those, we will have them listed over there. And we will see you in our next video. Bye.